Vegas, where I'm standing on top of the aging viaduct structure. That is what's otherwise known as the Las Vegas bounce, where you bounce up and down through the downtown area. Well, NDOT is going to be uh, fixing up this aging structure. It's nearly 60 years old in spots. You know what that means? Major delays, ramp closures, and long-term lane restrictions. Brace yourselves. Pack your patience. The project, which just kicked off Sunday night, calls for the upgrading of 1.6 miles of elevated freeway in downtown Las Vegas, which includes a repair and overlay of the entire viaduct service, along with seismic upgrades and retrofitting select viaduct columns in the event of an earthquake. The um, uh, structural steel beams there are showing uh, fatigue cracks. So they're going to get completely redone. I mean, are they safe to drive on today? They are safe to drive on, yeah. The goal for NDOT is to not let the giant viaduct structure deteriorate and extend its life cycle for the 183,000 vehicles that drive on the elevated freeway structure each day. Well, you know, this is really long overdue. I mean, portions of the viaduct are 60 years old, which means it's far outlived its life cycle. By Las Vegas standards, according to NDOT, the aging viaduct structure likely should have been imploded long ago. That if this were a casino resort, it was 60 years old, it would have been imploded and rebuilt two times by now. When the Cone Zone asked NDOT if drivers are really going to be dealing with traffic reductions down to two lanes each direction along 95 until the end of 2022, I got this painful reaction. 18 months? <laughs> yeah. Is that, yeah. That's a I, long time, it's, right? It, it's a long time. Uh, hopefully, it'll be a little less than that. I'm Ken Smith. Brace yourselves. Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.